We have been starved of Cleveland Cavalier and Kevin Love news for so long now to the point where it has become one of the most dried things I have ever seen. But we finally have some more news with it currently being reported that the Cleveland Cavaliers are very eager to dump Kevin Love. That was all being reported by uh, Sean Devaney. And then another report that's been coming out as well is that the Warriors and Cavs have had some trade talks on a potential deal for Kevin Love. And this is all being reported by Legion Hoops. Now, for those of you who didn't know, there was actually a lot of rumors that before Kevin Love was traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2014, that the Golden State Warriors were actually prepared to trade uh, Clay Thompson, I believe, for Kevin Love, which is actually pretty funny. I definitely, you wouldn't obviously do that uh, again to this day. You would never ever do that. But obviously the Golden State Warriors made the right decision in keeping Clay Thompson. Ended up working out for the best. But again, I, I still feel like people forget actually how good Kevin Love is to this day. I mean, because his contract's bad and because he plays on a relatively bad team, people kind of forget on what he's actually capable of. But I think people need to realize that. If he was playing on a team like the Golden State Warriors with potentially, you know, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, etc., there would be a lot less issues and he would definitely be able to work to his strengths of being, you know, a catch and shoot player, which is what LeBron James kind of turned him into. He ended up, you know, developing into that catch and shoot player that can go and get a board, you know, every now and then. Pretty decent play. Again, not really great at posting up anymore like he used to, but can still put up 16 to 20 points a night. And again, that's exactly what Kevin Love is. And look, a lot of people are out here saying he's regressed heaps. I'm going to be honest. Kevin Love is playing as good right now as he was in the short time we saw him at the start of last year. And I believe maybe even at the end of the 2018 series with LeBron. I do I feel like Kevin Love might have gotten a little bit worse, but it's not like Kevin Love has really regressed too much. People just see that, you know, that he's not putting up. He's putting up decent stats, but because he doesn't have, you know, again, a couple all-stars, maybe he should be putting up more. But I disagree. Kevin Love's not that player anymore. Um, he's going to put up the same numbers with all-stars, you know, without, again, he's putting up, what, 18 points per game right now and 10 rebounds. If you gave him LeBron James and Anthony Davis, he would still be putting up 16 points a game and getting 10 rebounds. So, again, Kevin Love is still a very quality player. I do expect a lot of teams to potentially be out looking for him, and I definitely believe maybe the Cavaliers getting rid of him would be the right decision. Although, I would like to see the experiment of Andre Drummond and Kevin Love because we barely got to see it, you know, last time. But I, again, in saying that, I still feel like it makes the right decision and right move for the Cleveland Cavaliers to actually go and trade for Kevin Love. But the thing is, when we look at the Golden State Warriors, who would they most likely trade up to get him? Now, the logical one, I feel like, would be Andrew Wiggins and a future first-round pick for Kevin Love. I feel like that makes the most amount of sense. It works for both teams as, you know, the, potentially the Golden State Warriors can get their new starting center. I feel like Kevin Love would play. Even though Love hasn't played center since 2018, he's not a good defender at all. Honestly, if you put good defense around him, which they do have in Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, maybe a defensive small forward, he's going to be really decent at center. He just, again, he's going to need some help here and there, but... Where I feel like this comes in place is that Andrew Wiggins is on that overprice of a contract that he makes Kevin Love's contract look relatively good. I mean, they're both on pretty similar money, but the issue is, is Andrew Wiggins, I don't know how he would go, you know, playing with All-Stars. For example, Chuck Kevin Love on the Golden State Warriors, he's going to play as good, if not better, with Klay Thompson, Steph Curry, and Draymond Green. But Andrew Wiggins... I don't know about that. I mean, when you gave, when Andrew Wiggins had Jimmy Butler, his points definitely went down a couple. His defense definitely regressed a little bit as well. He's just one of those players that I feel like, yes, he'll do good with potentially uh, Steph Curry and Clay Thompson, but he's definitely not going to be doing as good as Kevin Love. Plus, I feel like they desperately do need a center. Even though I feel like, yes, they do need a small forward, I feel like there could be easier... There's definitely going to be easier ways to maybe get a small forward for their team than maybe a center. Again, considering in this draft, 
There's been a lot of rumors they could definitely go after Denny of Dia. They could just bring in Denny of Dia and instantly he's their new starting small forward as well. So again, they've got a lot of options on the small forward front. Not really too many on the center. Look, none of the... James Wiseman doesn't really appeal to them too much at center because... Again, he just doesn't play the way the Golden State Warriors like. You also got, you know, Okuru, who, Onyeka Okuru, Kongu, rather. Jeez, I don't even know what's going on there. But, again, he is, Onyeka Kongu is definitely a very interesting player to put on the team. He does fill in that small ball type of role, but it's just not really who I would see them. I feel like they want a spacing center at this point that can still get rebounds, and Kevin Love would be good for that. The reason as well, I feel like, again, Andrew Wiggins and a first-round pick make a lot of sense. is because that first-round pick's probably not going to be any good, um, you know, for the certain amount of time. And I feel like the Cavaliers definitely need a small forward, so it kind of works for both teams. So, again, that pick could be around 25 to 30, because I feel like the Warriors are going to be pretty good, and that pick will be pretty bad. So, again, Andrew Wiggins and that pick 25 or something would actually be pretty decent for Kevin Love. And I feel like Golden State Warriors fans are probably going to be doing that every single day of the week, if I'm going to be completely honest. But again, I just don't know. Uh, look, teams aren't going to be too interested in Andrew Wiggins. I don't really feel like the Cavs are going to be too much interested in him. I feel like if the Cavs could offer Kevin Love to a different team and get maybe a young player and a pick out of it, they're going to do that. Even though Wiggins is only 25 years of age, I just don't really feel like he makes the most amount of sense too much. But again, I'm not saying I wouldn't like Andrew Wiggins on the team. I feel like Andrew Wiggins would be decent. He just, I don't know, doesn't make the most amount of sense considering there's other options they could go for. But I would still be down with it. You know, as a Cavs fan, I still feel like Andrew Wiggins could definitely be an okay player. And it would be pretty interesting if Andrew Wiggins can, you know, get better uh, defensively. That's really all the Cavs need. If he can be defensively good consistently, the Cavs can go out and get a decent, you know, defensive power forward as well. Maybe even Derek Jones Jr. to play a bit of small ball power forward. And then that would be a pretty interesting team. I'm not going to lie. Darius Garland at point guard. Sexton at shooting guard. Andrew Wiggins at small forward. Um, whoever at power forward. And then Drummond at center. That would definitely be pretty interesting. But if I were the Cavaliers, there would be a move that... I would definitely be trying to do if I was them. Now, this move may be a little bit controversial. I might get a little bit of hate about this. But even though Kevin Love is nowhere near worth the pick number two, I know he's not. I just would like to see the Cavs try. Like, the Warriors seem so keen on actually trading down or trading away that pick that I feel like the Cavs should definitely be looking to try. If they could give up, you know, Kevin Love um, a future first or something like that, and maybe another player, and even taking on... Andrew Wiggins' contract if they're that desperate to get rid of him, which I doubt they will be. I would definitely do that if I was the Cavs. But again, getting picked two is just not going to happen. I don't feel like Kevin Love's really worth anything higher than maybe pick 20 at this point. And even though they do have players like Larry Nance and that who may be worth like pick 25 or whatever, it's just not going to really go the way like that. So again, I would like to see the Cavs try, but the Golden State Warriors are just not going to trade the pick number two for Kevin Love in my opinion. But of course, there will be some Cavs fans out there that will be very ambitious to try and potentially see that happen. But again, as I was saying, I feel like the main kind of trade that would make a lot of sense for both teams would be Andrew Wiggins and a future first for Kevin Love. And then with that pick number two, the Golden State Warriors could trade down and get Denny of Dion or just select him at that pick. Or even trade down and get a defensive small forward like Isaac Okuru. They could, you know, literally go and trade down, who knows, maybe... Six picks go to pick seven or pick eight, and then get Okura there and get some you know other pieces in here and there as well. I feel like that would be a pretty interesting one. And yeah, Okura, Kevin Love, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, and Draymond Green. Dang, that's actually a pretty decent starting five. I'm not gonna lie, and they could get some more you know backup bench players who come on and, you know for the team. So there's some very interesting stuff happening with the Golden State Warriors. Of course, I'm very ambitious to see how this is going to all go. Of course, I'd really like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. So don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on the Golden State Warriors being interested in Kevin Love? Should the Cavaliers trade him? I'm going to definitely really like to know. But of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, MRIRO slash Long Channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for the latest sports-related content and sports news. Of course, you know, don't forget to check out my podcast as well. Links for that will be in the description down below. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.